morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, everybody. It is another Friday here in Houston, Texas. I'm on my way to work, but I'm happy to be alive, to be in good health, losing some weight. My mind is right. I got some, uh, my, my spirit feels good. Got some, some, good, some great word on, on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, we're just being, uh, being very productive lately. Kicking out the videos on time. Uh, you know, hit my, hit my goals at work. It's just, it's just great. I'm so excited because tonight, my favorite, favorite sporting event happens. It starts. And that is the Olympics. I don't really watch sports. I don't watch a lot of sports. But the Olympics is uh, the world sport event that I would watch 24-7. If I could stay home and watch. That I would just watch. I would watch the track and field, the weightlifting, the swimming, the judo, the tennis, the fencing. I love the Summer Olympics. And so I am so excited. That's just important for you. But don't worry, the big bad is gonna be used today. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys at the uh, at the office. So let me start by saying I am so happy, so happy that I figured out where to place the camera and how to bring light into the room without turning on those ugly for for fluorescent light bulbs. I only like using natural light in my office, and so. This is perfect. I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm getting right now. There's enough light. You can see me, it's true color, nothing else. Um, so like I said today, I'm very, very excited about the Olympics. I'm probably gonna be thinking about that a lot. But other than that, I really don't have any work work to do. So I'm gonna work on my personal job which is this vlog. This, this is my old iPhone charger. See, it's been rigged so that it wouldn't break and stuff. This is my new iPhone charger. And yes, it's black, one of my favorite colors other than red. All right. Finally, time to go home. Um, I made a miscalculation earlier. I'm not going to the gym today because I got off of work late because I was off Monday. It, it doesn't matter. So, game plan. On the way home, I gotta pick up some food for everybody, some juice, and then I'm watching the Olympics. The only real sporting event that I get serious about that I say I need to sit down and watch. La uh, four years ago, I missed the opening ceremonies and I was upset. I didn't have a DVR, they didn't put it on rerun. And I was so upset because I missed the opening ceremony and everybody was like, oh wow, China did so great. Oh, it was so beautiful. Yeah, the drums, yeah, the this, yeah, the that. So, this year, Today, I will watch the opening ceremonies and I will watch as much of the Olympic Games as I possibly can. Does that mean a lot of late nights? Yes, I already have late nights because I'm working on the vlog. Does that mean I'm gonna get less sleep? Yep, because I got a whole lot of late nights. Regardless, I'm watching the opening ceremonies of Brazil tonight. Come join me. Let's go. Oh, all right. Had to make a quick stop. Time to go. Got to call 
niche. You guys don't mind, do you? Of course not. Because we got to get home. Car Yeah. So what you want to eat? Um, no, I don't want no Subway. You don't want Chinese? What about you? You, you the main person got to eat. So what do you want to eat? I can make a few stops. Sure. Sure. You want, a, you want a cheese pizza? You want a cheese pizza from Pizza Hut? You want a pizza from Pizza Hut, not Little Caesars? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think. So, I'll just do Chinese. No, it's not gonna work. I'll order it and get it. You want a large? We want a medium cheese. Nish? Nish? So a large cheese, original crust, pizza, easy on the sauce, extra cheese. All right, I can do it for you. One chicken fried rice. And one orange chicken. Okay. All right, madam. Yo! Not you, people driving, man. Uh, yes, sir. What is your current wait time for a uh, pickup? Uh, about 15, 20 minutes. All right. I will call you back a little later. So you may be asking yourself, why do I like the Olympics so, so much? I just had a little thought. That's so much better. See this whole time. Here, but looking at me. So you may be asking, why? Do I like the Olympics so much? I'm a gamer, right? And I love the possibility of playing a game with people around the world. I, 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 I frequently think of creating a game so massive, so large that it doesn't matter what platform you're using, you can link into this game and we can all play it at once. We can team up, we can compete or whatever. And for me, real life, that's the Olympics. The Olympics, for me, and so many people, I think for everybody, shows one of the purest essences of our human lives, of our human experience. That no matter what our differences are, we can all come together in one place and compete Find out who's the best, but in a peaceful manner. That is beautiful to me. We can all could just compete, say, hey, look, hey, I'm from America, you're from Africa, I'm from Sweden, you're from Japan, I'm from Brazil, you're from Antarctica. It doesn't matter. You have the right to represent your country and to fight for your country. I personally think, I personally think wars should be handled in this manner. No killing, no blood sport, competition. Two nations, two groups are going at it by the unit, they unite and say, all right, these are the games. Whoever wins the games wins. First place, you're the big boy winner, you win. If, we, if one of your allies gets second place, they get that. And yada, and break it down. That way, bloodshed, bloodshed is not needed. Of course, the bond's gonna occur because you know, in, in, in the heat of the uh, of the battle, uh, in the heat of competition, you know, you may get a little upset. I mean, there's gonna be some violence, but in in the end, and of course, these are nations talk we're talking about. So, if somebody's not happy about what happened, then they may have their button on, they may have finger on the button or whatever. But that's when you come up with the sanctions and you all sign these agreements to say, if if somebody breaks these rules for peaceful competition, the outcome of this war, then we'll all turn on that one person, whatever. It's very, it's highly idealistic. But the Olympics is that for me. It's the embodiment, it's the embodiment of ideas that in regards to unity and competition. I love the Olympics. I'm cruising like I ain't got nowhere to go. Maybe it's just my pure excitement spilling over into, re into my own reality. But I just get the feeling that everybody's trying to rush home to watch the Olympics in 30 minutes. But someone was afraid to get to
Large pizza with extra cheese on it? Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. See, when you're in a hurry, especially in this parking lot, you gotta make sure you don't get into an accident. Cause everybody's trying to go home and make it to see the, the opening ceremony. We got five minutes before it begins. Okay. I'm hoping the first part is a bunch of talking. Um, yeah, you gotta come. For leaving in the car, somebody takes you, uh, drinks. I'm trying to find the stuff that Anisha likes to drink. We got an and w That lady funny. <laughs> so I got everything I need to get. Now it's time to get home. Turn that AC up. All the way up. I'm all the way up. I'm outside. Grab this and and go ahead, go around grab this bag. Hey, we ain't get pizza. Mommy got pizza. My pizza too. No, it's not. We got pizza. That works. This is good night. Hi. Hi. 